Welcome to the channel folks, Mr. H here for a different video. Super, super different video. Very, very informal, very rambly. I'm doing a giveaway, basically. I'm doing a giveaway. I don't normally do them, but I'm doing a giveaway of this. This is the art of Godzilla, King of the Monsters. It's a book by Titan Books, uh, Titan Publishing. And just to clear you know, a whole bunch of people watching that, you know, you don't want to watch and it's just going to waste your time. The competition, unfortunately, can only be open to the UK, the Republic of Ireland, uh, the US and Canada. Now, the reason why, these books are very heavy. It's, it's going to cost a lot of money on shipping. Um, I don't do giveaways very often. Obviously, I've got three of these to give away. So, it's, I had to narrow down the specifics on in terms of shipping. Sorry about that. Genuinely, sorry about that. Um, how you can enter and the rules around entering before I get on to the actual book because I will talk about the book It's kind of a review giveaway But how you can enter you must share this video You must like this video and you must comment on this video And then you must take a screenshot of all of those things and you email it to me mistakereviews at gmail.com this competition will be open until next Friday, so Friday the 21st of June, and then the winners will be emailed. That's why it's important that you email me. If you don't email me, you, you literally do not get an entry because I can't, I've got no way of getting your shipping details from you. So you must email me. Then the winners will be emailed on uh, Sunday the 23rd of June, two days after the closing date for the competition. Now, like I say, I'm sorry it's not open to a wider populace. The majority of my audience are in the States though. So it is what it is, um, but it's mainly to do with shipping. It's very expensive otherwise. Um, I want to just read to you, before I get into my thoughts and feelings on the book itself, I want to get into the press release that they gave for this book, the kind of blurb anyway. So it says, The art of Godzilla King of the Monsters is an in-depth, behind-the-scenes look at the feature film. Packed with concept art, on-set photography, and insight from key members of the production, including director Michael Doherty. This beautiful book tells the story of how Godzilla, Mothra, Rodan, and King Ghidorah were brought to life on the big screen, and with all the majesty and spectacle of modern-day event filmmaking. Now, this book is a hard, hardcover book, but if anyone has seen the the art and making of Kong Skull Island, you'll know that there's a there's a paper overlay, a paper um, wrap that goes around their hardcover book. This one doesn't have that, which I was a little bit disappointed with, because um, I've got the, the art and making of Kong Skull Island. It's a beautiful book. Really, really is a beautiful book. Um, I would say that this one is a close contender with that. Um, I, I, in fairness, I wouldn't say that there's much spin on that press release that they gave. The press release genuinely, it, I mean, the book does actually tell how they went from conceptual design of Rodan, Mothra, and King Ghidorah to the finished product. There's a lot of reveals in there, but I feel where this book in specific lacks, because I'm, I'm reviewing it, right? I want you to know my thoughts on it. I want you to know what you're going to win. But where I feel this book lacks in particular is more the conceptual design of the world um, and how... How the creatures in the world, like, for instance, Methuselah, uh, Scylla, uh, and Behemoth. Those titans aren't touched on in this book, which is a real shame. Because they're touched on in interviews with Michael Doherty and people like that. Um, but they're not they're not touched on in the book. Which I feel, in fairness, because again, you know, we know about production. We know about how, when they do these books and things like that. These are quite early in the game, not late in the game. I think those Titans were finalised quite late in the game. Um, I don't think that they were. I don't think that they were finished, you know, back when this book was made. I could be wrong, obviously. I could be completely wrong, but that's what I think anyway. Um, I will say this though: how they went from I don't know if I've already said this. How they went from Rodan, the original conceptual design, which I'll say this: Turkey Vulture. Interesting to what they got now uh, in the final product is. Fantastic, it's fascinating stuff, really, really is. And there's also some interesting snippets about each monster. Um, stuff which isn't shown in the movie, stuff which I don't even think is touched on in the novelization. Some really, really interesting bits and pieces there. So I, I think, genuinely, I think the person that wins this will be, um, will be really, really happy with it. And I hope you are, 
I hope someone wins this that deserves it. So again, just to break down the rules of entry, you must like this video, you must share this video, you must comment on this video. You can comment anything you like, but you could probably just tell me why you think you deserve the books. Um, and you must screenshot all of that and email email me the screenshots, mistakereviews at gmail.com. I know it's a long-winded way to enter, but I want people that actually want this to have a chance to enter. Most people won't do that because it's quite a long-winded way to enter. Um, and, and I do want to narrow this down to people that really do deserve the book. Um, it's a fairly expensive book. And, you know, trying times, the economic climate that we're in, I would like someone who genuinely deserves this book to win it. There's three to give away. So there's quite an even chance for people to win. Anyway, guys, please do. Like I say, do all of that if you really want this book. I, I, I hope someone um, you know that genuinely deserves it actually wins it. And like I say, closing date is the 21st, Friday the 21st of June. Uh, it will be like midnight on, on the UK, so it actually gives plenty of time for uh, you US guys to do that. And then winners will be emailed. I'm not going to do an announcement video, but you will be emailed. That's why the email is super important. You'll be emailed on the Sunday. I need to get your names. I need to get your shipping details. And it must be 100% accurate. Because if it's not, I, I'm not responsible for where the book ends up. Um, that's, again, I'm just going to pass the responsibility off onto you guys. So anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this review of Godzilla, the art of King of the Monsters. <laughs> that's a super weird way of doing it. Um, super informal, I know. There may be a wrap-up video later on today. I haven't quite decided that yet. Also, just to give you guys a brief rundown, because again, the only people that are staying on this video right now will be subscribers that actually care. Um, the wrap-up videos will continue. You guys may have noticed I have brought back the explained videos. Um, uh, in doing the wrap-up, it actually gives me plenty of time to do explained videos again. I took a, a massive hiatus from doing explained videos. Um, I was sick of seeing other channels just doing them um, and being accused of plagiarism, copying, all this kind of nonsense. Problem is with explained videos, generally speaking, we all get the same information from the same places. Um, however, I've made a really concerted effort with the last two explained videos to make them the most comprehensive ones on the internet. And I think I've achieved it. I genuinely think I've achieved it. Uh, delving into novelizations versus end credits, uh, comparisons, excerpts, and also my own thoughts and theories and how it pertains to real world situations. So I, I think, I genuinely think I've achieved the most comprehensive explained videos and, and that's why I'm bringing them back because I see the other channels that are doing them and I just think they're just bad by comparison. Um, they're rambly, they're going on for about five minutes long when you can easily make you know an 11, 12, maybe even 15 minute video on some of these things. So the wrap up videos will still continue uh, the explained videos don't have set days yet, but I genuinely, if they keep getting the traction that they're getting, the likes, the comments, the shares, because that's really, really important, it tells me that you want to see them again. So, yeah, hopefully they will continue because I, 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 you know, I like doing them. I took a hiatus from doing explained videos just because it was just such a washout. Um, the market was washed, you know, if we're talking business, the market was washed out. Um, but yeah, I, I, I want to bring them back. If you are subscribed to this channel, then obviously thank you so much. Uh, if you want to see my second channel, because a lot of people don't know I actually have that, I do. It's just called Mr. H. Um, it's comedic, edgy content, supposed to be, anyway. Um, so if you like my sense of humor, head on over there. Um, but just be warned, it is edgy. It is supposed to be comedic, and it is edgy. Uh, outside of that, please do follow me over on Twitter. And Instagram, because if you do win this book, I would, I'd love to see, I'd love to see you snap a photo of it, um, tweet it to me. You can shoot it over on Instagram, uh, tag me not on Instagram. My handle for Twitter and also Instagram is just at Mr. H Reviews, all one word. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. Again, super rambly, super, super, just chit chatty, just me and you on this Sunday. Thanks so much for watching. I've been Mr. H. Take care.